What's up, everybody? The germ here. You're probably wondering, what am I doing here at Courtyard Marriott? I am actually charging my car and had a little bit of trouble starting to charge. I didn't um, need to charge. I just wanted to make sure I had an extra couple percentage to make it home, have a little bit of range. But EV Go, I couldn't figure out which charger was which. And I'm like, they're named in the app. And I'm like, looking for the name and looking for the name. I'm like, how do you know which one's which? They're not on the screen. And then I kept looking and I found it. So here we go. I sat here for about 15 minutes trying to figure this out. Now, they got four chargers here. One's down. Two's down. <laughs> Other two are working. Uh, these are level threes. And uh, this is the one we're using here. And I didn't notice. I was looking all over, looking all over. I figured, look down look at the screen i'm only five five <laughs> i couldn't see this i noticed it now so yeah we're now charging we're at 56 percent. i'll probably just stay here for 10 or 15 minutes be good to go on these uh level threes i was hoping to film something else but this lady came back she uh parked her ford fusion over here which is hybrid older hybrid and uh level two charging and she tried to park it at one of these level threes like we have over here. And then she's like, these don't fit my car. Oh my God. How do you not know what charger your car takes? So I'm going to show you guys this real quick. So if you ever buy an electric car, first of all, don't leave your car at a charging station if you're not charging. If you have a car with an engine that can't charge, don't just park there. It's not right, you know? Other people are dependent on these like, like me. So here we go. This is a level two charger, also known as a J1772. This is what most hybrids are gonna take. It looks like that. All right, I'd like to show you guys this. My car actually can use this. However, it would charge very, very slow. I'd probably be here for about 15, 16 hours if I wanted a full charge. So not reliable for someone who is on the road doing a road trip. This is just like, you know, you have this, at, actually you have this at home. So if you're installing a home charger, this is what you're gonna charge. It's uh, on. It's called the J1772, very slow to charge on, perfect for a hybrid. Not bad for something like this, uh, but not also ideal. So if you're parking overnight, this works real good. Other types of chargers. Now this, this year I think it's called Chadmo not many cars use this anymore you cannot use this on my car it does not work on my car that is a chadmo charger only car that i know that uses this is a nissan leaf and then this charging station also has this here which is what i use it's called the ccs fast charger also known as a dc fast charger so this is the charger that i will use i will plug in here probably for about 15 minutes i just need like 70 80 miles of range and then i'm good to go uh, but this will fully charge my car, depending on the charger. This one's out of service. But depending on the charger, approximately an hour, 40 minutes maybe, you really only need to charge up to 80%. That's going to be the uh, fastest rate of charge. So that is your CCS. There is one more type of charger. So we're going to put this back. Well, I thought the other charger over here had a Tesla charger, which Tesla has two types of chargers. There is... Uh, uh, DC, uh, sorry, I'm, wow, I'm really blanking here. There's the Tesla supercharger, which is gonna charge your Tesla up real, real quick. And then there is a destination um, charger, which you'll find at a lot of hotels. Basically, it's like that level two that was over here, but for a Tesla. They also make a little adapter that you can adapt to use your, uh, your Tesla port. So you could use this, uh, charger here so this way if you find one of these level twos you can still use it but the teslas can't use these dc fast chargers they have to use tesla superchargers now the new crazy thing is that i'm probably confusing the hell out of a lot of people that are watching a video like this for the first time is that you can actually um some tesla superchargers now have been opened up where you can actually charge your non-tesla at a tesla supercharging station so i know of two i know one in brewster new york um, local to me and I know of one in um, Red Hook, New York. Both of those have an adapter on it where you can actually park your um, level three, your DC fast charger, and you can actually has the attachment built into it and you can actually plug in your car, which is pretty neat.
All right, we are just about char done charging here. Um, now that they went in to their room, I'm gonna show you what you don't do. All right, so this lady right here is 100% a Karen. This charger doesn't work, so I will give them that. It's off, but if you're not charging your car, you should not be parking an electric vehicle charging station. Even if you have an electric car, it's just not right. Now, being that that one's not working, it's probably okay, but this lady had no idea what she was doing. She pulled up to a level three charger like this and tried to plug it in and said, none of these plugs work for my car. Now, the crazy thing is that the plug that does work for her car, she could have parked in. That's this one right over here. And she didn't move her car for some reason. So she could have parked her car right here and charged it up, but instead she's just gonna um, occupy one of these spaces for no reason whatsoever. But like I said, I don't know, that charger's down, so is it okay? You guys let me know in the comments below. We are at 70%, 136 miles. We don't need all that to get home, so we're gonna go ahead and unplug. So let's go ahead and we'll hit the uh, button here. We're good to go. All right, and it's processing the payment. Let's see if it tells us what it cost us. Processing, come on, Kendall. Let's go, any day now. Kendall's very slow. <laughs> but Kendall's on. Is Kendall, is that a, a male or a female name? I'm not sure. Is that one of those names that could go either way? Maybe it's a universal name? I don't know. Kendall doesn't even want to tell me how much this costs, apparently. All right, there we go. All right, still not going to tell me. All right, we got up to 70% battery, charged for 17 minutes, and only 20 kilowatt. So, communication or error. So, I don't know. We're done. We're good. All right, you're welcome. See you later. Boop. Click. Good to go. I really didn't say why that lady was a Karen. So, the reason why she's a Karen was one of the things she did was she came up to me and she asked me about the chargers and I, I told her because she was asking about my car and I told her about the chargers and then she said I would park there which was the uh, correct spot where she could park um, but it's a handicapped spot and she said I'm afraid to park there and then she pointed to the other spot I said there's another charger over here that you could use for your car and she said well I guess I could just park there and then pretend I'm charging and I said why don't you just actually charge your car or not park there I hate that if you're not charging, don't park your car in the electric vehicle spot. It doesn't make any sense. People are sometimes too lazy. She was checking into the hotel and didn't want to move her car on a roof.